Well, there you have it. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. That is basically a wrap as it relates to West Indies and the ICC ODI World Cup qualification. They were just totally outplayed by Sri Lanka. So all is left now is for them to just pack their bags and return home to the Caribbean. We have India waiting. So they're going to have to pick themselves up, uh, sort out a squad quickly and get things up and running. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of the game and also going to give you some good news. Yesterday, the West Indies women, they were able to get the better of uh, Ireland in their second T20 game. So just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you think in the comment section. So West Indies, West Indies, I tell you my viewers and subscribers, we batted first in this game and we saw a very, very good um, effort from Casey Carty. But, you know, it wasn't enough. We were easily beaten by Sri Lanka. So we batted first and once again, we were unable to bat out 50 overs. We were bowled out within 48.1 overs. So, you know, 48.1 overs. And we made 253. 253 is what we made. In all honesty, I was switching between back and forth between the, the, this game and the Ashes. You know, it, it's, it's really sad to know that an ODI game, uh, you know, that was going on, West Indies game, and I was more entertained by what was going on in, 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 in the Ashes that don't even concern West Indies. You yeah, understand? It, it's really sad. But 243 is what we made. And Sri Lanka, they were able to get that in 44.2 overs. But this is the big part about it. They lost only two wickets. Yes. They lost only two wickets. And you could see that the bowling was toothless. The bowling was toothless. I mean, at the top, um, when they just started bowling, uh, Kyle Mayers and Romario Shepard, they got one and two deliveries to move around. And, you know, it seems as if they were going to trouble the batsmen. But they, they rode out that little storm. Nisanka especially rode, rode out that little storm for a couple of overs. And then it was smooth sailing from then. Uh, so batting for the West Indies, Casey Carty, he top scored with 87. He was the last man out. You know, he got a delivery that he was trying to. I don't know if he was trying to hit it straight back for six, but it didn't work out. And, you know, it was skied and he got out caught. So let me give you from the top. So Brandon King, who got a century in the last game. Um, I think he, think he was the last game that he got a century in our game before that. He made 10 from 18. Johnson Charles made 39 from 38. So he got a start, but was unable to push on. So 39 from 38, he had three fours and two sixes in there. Shamar Brooks, on his return to the team, he made uh, two from four. And I am assuming this is the end of the line for right now where Shamar Brooks is concerned. There is no way on God's green earth. You can have people, um, youngsters, that, that, that outperform Shamar Brooks in Super 50, in regional championship, and this man still you know, keeps on getting the opportunity over and over. And we have the guys that are outperforming him sitting down on the sideline. He will... I can't take it no more, man. When, it, when, when, it, when, it do, when he even gets a start, it, it, he's not going past 30. You understand? We probably need to look elsewhere now. It's, 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 it's really sad. The captain, Shea Hope, who is usually reliable, he made two from five. Nicholas Puran, who has had the best tournament for us, he made um, 14 from 20. Casey Carty, as I said, 87 from um, 96. He had six fours and one six in that knock. Uh, Kyle Mayers, he made 18 from 36. So when you see Kyle Mayers making 18 from 36, you know that he was pinned down. And that is, what, that is one of the problems that we have. If we're not able to hit fours and six, and you, you know we, can't, we cannot score. And it's a high risk game when we play like that because when we keep on going up for fours and sixes, you know, we always get out. When you when you are pinned down and you can't rotate the strike, the next big thing that comes to their mind is to try and, and power hit the ball and they're always getting out. Um Rastan Chase, um he, he 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 made one from three. Um you know, Romario Shepherd, he made twenty six from twenty one. The usual Thing from Romario Shepard, always trying at the back end, 
you know, 20, 26 from 21 with three fours in the knock. Kevin Sinclair, 25 from 36, two fours. So even batting at number, what's that, nine, Kevin Sinclair was still able to come in and, 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 and chip in and get some runs. Uh, Akil Hussein, he was left not out on six. So Akil Hussein made six from 13. That is how it looked, my viewers and subscribers. Not, not, not a good look at all, you know? So that is all she wrote in terms of the batting for us. Now, bowling for Sri Lanka, Tikishani, he took four wickets. He was the main wicket taker, four for 34. You know, so he, he, he basically um, gave us no chance. In terms of the partnerships, 36 for 1, 42 for 2, uh, 55 for 3, 62 for 4, 81 for 5. You hear that? 81 for 5. Uh, 122 for 6. 123 for 7. 155 for 8. And uh, 218 for 9. Then 243 all out. As I said, Casey Carty did his best to try and hold the innings together. But it didn't work. It didn't work out. Um, in terms of the chase now for Sri Lanka, it was quite easy as I said. They put on way over 140 before they lost the first wicket. Nisanka, he made 104. 104 runs um, for Nisanka. So, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're chasing a small total like that, and you have a man getting a century right at the top of the order, more often than not, they end up winning. So 104 of 113. Um, Karat Naratni, he made 83. And uh, Mendes made 34, not out. So those were the guys that they needed to, 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 to get the score. 244 for 2 is what they made. Bowling for the West Indies, Akil Hussein took 1 for 54 from 10. And um, Kevin Sinclair took 1 for 52 from 10. Kyle Mir, 6 over 30 runs. Romario Shepard, 6.2 overs, 44 runs. Um, Raston Chase, 9 overs, 45 runs. Casey Carty, 3 overs, 18 runs. So those were all the bowlers for us. And as I said, they, they, it, it just didn't work out at all. In terms of the partnerships um, for, for them, 190. I said they put on 140, but 190 for one, 204 for two, and then they, it was smooth sailing to the, to, um, to the total. So as I said, they will need to pick themselves up and um, get themselves ready for, for, for India. All right, quickly moving on. So yesterday, the West Indies women, they played um, in their second, second T20 game against Ireland. Um, it's a three-match series, and we were able to, 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 to pick up victory in that one. So, you know, we won that game by, by eight wickets, actually. So uh, Ireland batted first and made 113 for seven, and we were able to get 114 for two within 16.4 overs. So let me just give you the bowl, um, the, 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 the bowling for us real quick. And then I will let you know the ladies that were able to get some runs. So bowling for us. Um, seems as if a couple of run-outs were there. Connell, she picked up one for 25. Matthews, one for 24. And Fraser picked up one for 24. Right? So that is how it, that is how it looked. And in terms of us chasing... Um, Haley Matthews, she led the way at the top of the order, getting 50 from 39 with nine fours in the mix there. Um, she was supported by Henry. Henry made 22 from, 20, from 12, not out. So Henry took us across the line. And uh, Shabika, she made 17, not out. And Rashada Williams made 16. So we only lost two wickets as we were able to chase that total down. So... Hopefully the third and final T20 we will be able to win and secure a series sweep. So that is basically it for now. Just join in later on. We will take a look at the ashes that is currently going on. Sports to the board. Keeping you informed. Big up on yourself.